All right, I'm going to describe step one for you just to give you some ideas. And of course you can use anything that you want to to find ideas for social media, but chat GPT is your friend. And so I wanted to show you a few of the common ones that I use. So this is chat GPT. And what I asked it to do was to give me a list of 24 real estate related historical dates with the month and the day. That's important so that I know when to post them. Some of them don't have to be on the exact day, but I like to try to stick to it. So it gave me 24. This will give you about two a month that you can use that are definitely real estate related. So you can see the ones that it came up with, everything from March and all of the things that we learned in real estate school that we'll never use again. But here is a perfect idea for some dates. Those are real estate related. Then I ask it to give me a list of national holidays, religious holidays, and some obscure holidays for November and December because I am getting ready to finish mine off for the rest of the year. So you can put any month in there that you might want. And so this is what it gave me. It just lists them out for you. National holidays, uh, it lists them out. Religious holidays, it'll list them out in obscure holidays. So that's another way to get a lot of ideas um, here on ChatGPT. Then you can even go more generic. And I said, just give me a list of 15 social media posts for a public real estate Facebook page for the month of December. And here you go. It gives you all these ideas of different things, home maintenance for the winter, local holiday events, different real estate investment advice, virtual home tours, holiday moving tips, you name it, it'll give you those. So use ChatGPT. It is really a great source of getting ideas for social media. And you can type in anything you want, like even, you know, social media ideas for December. See what it gives us. I mean, it just really will give you lots of things, a countdown, holiday, office decor, DIY, local events, behind the scenes, you name it. Use this, you guys. It's a great resource. And then you don't even have to really think about it. It just spits it out for you. The other thing that I tend to use is, of course, Google. Go out and Google and see what you can find. And I generally look for either weird holidays or funny holidays. This one I looked for funny holidays in November and December. And um, there's tons of things that come up. I really like this one from time and date. And uh, you'll notice it's just timeanddate.com. And then it goes to holidays. And so it tells me all of the fun holidays uh, in November, it gives me an entire list of all of those. And then if I wanted to see December, I can just click on December and I can see all the funny holidays. You know, I wouldn't use every single one of these eggnog day, thank you note day, no interruptions day, but it's at least an idea for you. So I hope that helps you. That is for step one, searching for ideas. Now we're going to get to the true subject for this training, which is how to schedule your social media posts on Facebook as well as Instagram. And if you noticed at the beginning of the video for the tools utilized, you're going to need a Facebook business page. So that's important. You will not be able to schedule from your personal page. So for an example, this is my personal page and you can feel free to send me a Facebook friend request if you would like. This is my personal page. So I am going to then switch to my business page. Now, as I go through this, you guys, everybody's Facebook looks a little bit different. So if you can't find the exact places that I go, it's going to be somewhere on your page. Facebook changes things a lot. So depending on when you watch this or how out of date it might be for you, it might be in a different spot. So I wanted to let you know. So I'm gonna go to the right-hand corner where my profile picture is. And then I'm going to go to see all of my profiles and I'm going to change to my real estate page. Once your real estate page comes up, then you should be able to see, um, if I scroll down, again, just my Facebook page, but over on the left-hand side is the Meta Business Suite. This is what you're going to use to schedule. Again, it may not be exactly on this spot, for your Facebook page, your business page, because maybe you don't use it a lot. They tend to add things that you use more often to the left. So I'm going to click on the better. So I'm going to click on the meta business suite. 
Then when this comes up, you can see that my Facebook and my Instagram are connected. And that is exactly what you want. That way you can post both places and schedule both places without being a problem. I will say that you can post videos and schedule videos on Facebook business page, but you cannot schedule or post videos on Instagram. So I tend to just do pictures so that I could go ahead and do both. So from here, if you scroll down, it'll show you your to-do list and your content, et cetera. And again, I tend to stick to the menus on the left-hand side. So on the left, you'll see mine actually has the planner, which is what we're going to need. That's because I use it a lot. If yours does not show the planner, you can just go to all tools. And underneath all tools, it's going to show you more than you ever need to know. But the planner will also be here as well. So I'll go ahead and click planner. This is now going to come up to today's date. So you can see that I'm doing this uh, November 14th, 2023. And I have some options of how I want to see my planner as well. So you can look at it by the week, which is what I am looking at it for right now. And I find that that's easier for me to see. And you can also look by the month if you prefer. I think the month is harder for me to be able to kind of really digest what all I have out there. So I usually stick to the week. So you can see today being um, Tuesday the 14th at 10 a.m. this morning, I had a post for both Facebook as well as Instagram. And those are the only ones that I have today. So you can see if I scroll down, you can see any posts that maybe I had later on. You'll also notice most of my posts are the same time every day. I do that for two reasons. Number one, that's when Facebook tells me that most of my followers are on Facebook. But really, I do it for number two. It's just easier. I don't want to get hung up on what time of day that I need to post. I just want to make sure I post. So don't let that stop you, okay? Just make sure you post. For me, it's a little bit different because I have followers in different time zones. So I try to pick sometime fairly early in the morning, but not too, too early. So 10 a.m. works for me. And again, you can see, if you scroll back, you can see everything that I have posted, you know, for all the weeks previously. And you can see what I have coming up. So this tells me today, Tuesday the 14th, but I only have posts through Thanksgiving. So you can see that I have two posts, one for Facebook, um, and you can see it says the little F for Facebook, and then I can tell that this one is Instagram. And that's because I'm scheduling them together. So I don't have anything for after that. So if I scroll through, you'll notice there's not anything after that. That's because Facebook scheduling only lets you do 28 days in advance. So I try to do them around the first of the month somewhere, and I tend to take three or four hours and just get all 28 days done then I don't have to worry about it anymore. So I encourage you to do that as well. Plan ahead, get all of your social media posts created and saved, and then go schedule them. And then you can forget about it until you know 28 days later. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I do this. And again, remember I've already done step one, which was my ideas and step two, saving things and creating posts. So I've already done that. So now I'm gonna schedule. So I need to schedule something for Black Friday. So I'm gonna go ahead and just click and down below, it says schedule. And I'm going to schedule my post. And again, for November 24th and 10 a.m. It also tells you my active times when, again, your followers are on. So 6 p.m., 7 p.m. I don't like to post that late in the evening. Now, if I wanted to change this, I can just click on it and I can you know, make it 9 a.m. Or if I wanted to make it 9 p.m., I could just click on it and change that as well. I'll leave mine at 9 a.m. And then I'll click save. Now, on the left-hand side is where you're going to do all the configuring. So over here on the left. And on the right-hand side, it's going to show you what it's going to look like. Okay? So first thing that I'm going to do is at the top left-hand corner where it says post to, I am going to make sure that it's not only my real estate, but it is also my Instagram. So now once I've done that, you can see it says Facebook and Instagram. Also, you guys, if you have joined any groups, you'll see, if you've joined any groups using your business page, you can actually post to that group as well. So I only have one group in Surprise, Arizona, and I don't generally post to it, but you can. So if you have groups, but you have to be in that group on your business page. So if I was in, I'm in a lot of groups on my personal page, but you notice that I can't post from my personal page. So it's just whatever groups you've joined as your business page. So I'm going to be posting to both 
both Facebook and Instagram. You can see that up there, the little icons underneath. Okay, so then I'm going to add my media. So I, again, post photos, but if you wanted to do videos, you could click add video. So I'm going to add my photo and then I'm going to upload that from my desktop. So I'm navigating out to my files. You'll notice my files are called social media, ready to post. And I do have these in the month. So I'm going to go to November and I'm gonna see everything that I have for November. Now we were working on Black Friday. So here is my post for Black Friday. So I'm gonna click on that and it is going to then populate. And so I'm gonna see over on the right-hand side what my post is gonna look like. And then on my left-hand side. And if you wanted to add text, then you certainly could here. Like, um, I don't know, what a day, right? Then you can see over on the right-hand side, it added what a day for me. I generally don't add text just because I like it plain and simple, but you certainly can add text and that's how you do it. You can also add, you know, emojis to it um, as well. So if I wanted to add a little emoji, that's there. So all of the normal things that you can do on a Facebook post, you could also do as you schedule as well. So I'm going to write it because I'm boring and I don't usually add text. So then I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to see those scheduling options that I chose earlier, right? November 24th at 9 a.m. And if I wanted to change that, I could. Again, I could just click in here. And if I wanted that Facebook post to be 8 a.m. and my Instagram at 9 a.m., that's fine. You can do whatever you want. And then all you have to do is hit schedule. Takes just a moment. And then that planner is going to come back up. And you're going to see that at 8 a.m. on Black Friday, I have a post. And at 9 a.m. as well. I'm going to do one more for you just so that you can see that once you get in a rhythm, it's really quick to do this. So small business Saturday. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Let's make this one. It's on a Saturday. Let's make this one at 9 a.m. I'm going to save that. Again, I'm going to go to the top and I want this to be on Instagram as well as Facebook. So now I have both of those. You can tell because remember the two icons. I'm going to add my photo that I want for Small Business Saturday. And I think mine, if I find it, there it is. So here is the post that I've already created for Small Business Saturday. And again, maybe I wanna add some text. So time to shop local, right? With an exclamation point. Uh, so I can add that. And maybe I want like a fun, I don't know, maybe like a little house or I don't know. let's do this. So now you can see that that is going to be listed there. And then simply I just scroll down again, make sure my times are when I want and hit schedule. It's really that simple. Now that is scheduled for small business Saturday. And I can see I still have one more for Cyber Monday. I'll show you how quickly this literally can go. Choose I want Instagram. I wish that would stay defaulted, but it does not. And then now I'm going to look for my Cyber Monday that I have. There it is. There's my Cyber Monday. I don't care about text. I'm not going to add it and schedule. Takes just a moment. And now you can see that it is scheduled. So you can see the ones that I scheduled for last week and the ones that I scheduled for Cyber Monday. If I wanted an additional post, let's say I wanted two a day, all I would have to do is just hit schedule again. Right. I could hit schedule and maybe I wanted something for, I don't know, 6 p.m. Then I could do one at 6 p.m. and just go through that process again. And let's see, I'll just pick something generic and show you guys. Um, and if I go here and again, 6 p.m., I can add whatever I want from the upload. So who knows? I don't know what it would be. Maybe it's peanut butter month. Who knows? So if I wanted to add that, uh, then I could schedule. And then you can see on the schedule that you're going to have more than one post that day. So if I scroll down here, you can see that at 6 p.m. on Facebook, as well as Instagram, it's going to post about peanut butter month <laughs> as well. So you can post as many times as you wanted. If I wanted to do a third one, again, I just click it and schedule it. So it'll show me all of that. They have started showing you goals and stuff over on the right hand side. And I never use that, you guys. You don't have to worry about that. And I never boost a post. Stacy has said the same thing. Don't pay to boost your posts. This is just public social generic posts. And again, that's done through the meta suite. 
I hope this has helped. Let me know if you have any questions.